know, if I knew then what I know now, the right decision would have been not to go into business because we didn't know much. You just got to be willing to grind it out. I mean, that's one thing I would strongly recommend to anybody getting into business. If you're asking about work-life balance, probably not the right thing for you. He is absolutely relentless um, on making worldwide technology successful, staying ahead of the curve, uh, and ensuring that we're positioned always for growth. He asks the executive team a lot of questions and wants feedback. Hey, just because I'm the CEO, I don't tell me. I want to know. But also, he has such a passion for learning. He is a relentlessly pursuit of success through as many means as he can find to make him better and worldwide technology better. We're marching towards what should be about 20 billion in revenue this year. We have somewhere between 10,300 and probably 10,400 by the end of the year team members. You know, the company has been able to grow this big, you know, under his leadership as CEO with largely the original cap structure still intact. So we have employees all over the world. We started being a great place to work and getting on that list of 100 best companies. And I remember again, went to Jim on that and he's like, you think so? I said, I think we're ready. And I, and he was great about it. And, and we got on that list the first time 12 years ago in the U.S. and now we're in the U.K. and we're in Singapore and we're in India. But back then he realized the impact of being a great place to work. And he put it in our mission to be a profitable growth company that's a great place to work for all, for all employees. His ability to hold you accountable and to push you while also making you feel supported is what makes him a, a great leader and friend, really does. You know, I think having the, the passion and I would say the drive and work ethic, absolutely critical to success in whatever you do. There's a lot of people, you know, as I say, there's a lot of incredibly smart people, incredibly talented people that never, you know, drive the result because they didn't bring that passion. They didn't have the passion. They didn't have that desire. Jim came from a very humble background, uh, and he excelled. He excelled here at SLU, including excelling in athletics. He's excelled in life, but Jim has never forgotten who he is or where he came from. The thing about the investment that, that Worldwide and Jim plays in the community at large, right, is very important to balance off not only the importance of worldwide technology as a business, but the impact it, it could have in other areas outside of the technology space. What the Hope Lodge actually is, it's a home away from home, as we call it. So any patient that lives outside of a 40 mile radius in St. Louis, they can stay at the Hope Lodge free of charge. Jim joined our CEO chapter in 2017, but he quickly, after that, um, agreed to lead a pretty large capital campaign to remodel our Hope Lodge. And we were really going to be right during the middle of the pandemic. He rallied everybody from sports teams to corporate America to the health systems, and he really rallied them around the passion the impact, and then also St. Louis. He was very much about St. Louis and how he cares about this community. You know, we're fortunate that he was passionate about our Hope Lodge and, you know, they are now naming um, rights of our Hope Lodge. But you look at everything from how he brought and helped the soccer team come to St. Louis, you look across the river at the NASCAR, facility that's there and kind of everything in between and I think that shows the passion and the commitment that not just Jim has but worldwide technology and all of those leaders kind of working together to help St. Louis grow. If you come down here every night of the week and the place is packed and Friday nights we call it Friday night lights but we have our own little youth league for anywhere from three years old to about eight years old and the place is packed it's a big social event the kids get to play. Kevin Kalish actually reached out to Jim to see if he would come on board with us and help us and which he did. Jim and Tom really helped us not just financially getting us in, in the right direction but also internally with all the the way that the culture 
um, the way Worldwide is run, they brought that into the club, uh, which has been a huge asset for us. He's given back to the to the organization, St. Louis Scott Gallagher, but also soccer as a whole. Um, and now he's topped it off with bringing St. Louis City here. St. Louis City coming in into the MLS and the ownership group building the stadium and the training facility right next door um, was just a huge step for soccer in St. Louis. Here at St. Louis University, our mascot is a Billiken. A Billiken is a mythical figure that serves to make the world it ought to be. And I think that Jim Cavanaugh is a Billiken through and through. Jim spends his time trying to make the world, this community, this university better the way it ought to be.